Hello everyone. Let us look into this very interesting problem of project matching to a string. Okay, so what it says is that if if there is a dot character, you can match any any character from the string, and if there is a star in the pattern, then you can match any preceding character zero or more times. Okay, so let us look into this example. Some of the examples. So if if the if the string is a and the pattern is a because the two characters are same, the output is one. If the string is a and the pattern is a dot, because dot matches to any single character, the output is one. If the string is a and the pattern is a star, then the output is also one because it matches to zero or more characters. If the string is a a and the pattern is a star, it also matches because a star matches to zero or more a characters. If the string is a a b and the pattern is a star b, it matches because a star matches to zero or more a's. And B matches to the last B. If the string is A A B and the pattern is A star, they do not match because we have a missing B here. Similarly, if the string is B A A and the pattern is A star, they do not match because we are missing a B here. Okay, and uh, if the string is A A B and the pattern is C star A star B, it matches because this is present zero times, this is present two times, and this is present one time. So they match, and the answer is output is one. So how do we go about solving this problem? Okay, so what we are going to do in this scenario is we are going to follow a bottom step approach. Okay, and uh, what essentially it means is that we are going to build from smaller problems uh, to the eventual solution. Okay, so let us see how it works. So what I have already done is that I have already created a table, a two-dimensional table, wherein the columns represent the pattern. And the rows represents the uh, string string indexes. Okay, the x here, the x here represents the empty empty string and empty pattern. Okay, so let us start. If the pattern is empty, and so we are filling this row here. If the pattern is empty and the string is also empty, it means that they both match. So this is true here. But if the pattern is empty and the string contains any character, it essentially does not match. So every single element here is false. Okay. Now if the string is empty and the pattern is A, they do not match. So this is a false. Similarly, if the string is empty and the pattern is B, they do not match. So this is false. Now if this is star, okay. If this this uh, pattern is a star and the string is empty, what we need to do is we need to go two back from here so we need to go here we need to go here and why do we need to go here because it says that you can have zero or more b's okay but it also says that that the b the b should be presided by a a okay and because the string is empty this comes as a false and because c does not match to an empty string this is also a false okay so this case here right this star case is actually a little complex case and we'll be dealing into this case in a significant detail in as we as we make out the table okay okay cool so now that we have solved for our base cases of empty string and empty pattern let us actually look into solving for the problem now filling for the first row and the first column this matches because a matches a okay now a does not match b so this becomes a false here right and now look at, let us look at this star here okay what this star essentially says is that okay so right now the pattern is x a b star and the string is x a b or the string is x a actually okay now what what this star says that you can have zero or more b's here the star says that you can have zero or more b's here so if the index of this i uh, the star is i and if we go two back which is i minus two and if i minus two actually matches the value which is present in the string that that is these guys actually match then the value at this place is also going to be true because it in indicates that we have zero occurrences of b right now okay so what what we are claiming is that if so this is one of the important cases if pattern of i or let's say uh, 
okay pattern at i equals to star okay if the pattern at i is equals to star then what we are saying is dp of i comma j okay or i what i will do is let's call the rows as i and the column as j so that will make it as j okay dp of i comma j equals to dp of i comma j minus 2 okay so this corresponds to zero occurrences zero occurrences okay cool so this becomes true here because it indicates that the string was a or x a and the pattern was a b star so this this is bound to match okay so this becomes true now a doesn't a is not equals to c so this becomes false here b is not equals to a so this becomes false b equals to b so this becomes true okay now what about this star now we have claimed that we can go here okay so we go here and we see that this is actually a false right so what do we do it what what we need to do now is we actually check we actually check if this b which is j minus 1 is equivalent to the value present here if this is equivalent to the value present here it means that there is one or more occurrence of this character b here okay so what we are saying is that now if pattern is equals to equals to uh, if pattern is star then dp of ij equals to this now what we are again claiming is that if dp of ij is equals to equals to false after this step what we need to do is dp okay so if now what we are checking is if dp of so we have we have checked for this particular character here so this i remains as is but uh, j becomes j minus 1 so if if string string of i equals to pattern of j minus 1 then dp of i comma j equals to dp of i minus 1 comma j minus 1 okay so this is i minus 1 j minus 1 is something that i kind of skipped so let us look into that uh, that part after we have completed this equation here so what we are claiming is that if this b is not equals to a here if this b is not equals to a here it it can probably indicate that there is one or more occurrence of this character here okay the character that can be present for zero or more times so we go one index back and check if the current character is actually in, it, it actually it equals to the character that can repeat for zero or more time and if they are indeed equal what we all that we need to do is we simply populate the value which is present here okay all that we need to do is we simply populate the value which is present here okay so we don't consider this value here and we present this value so one important concept that uh, that actually got missed is that if two characters are same so let's say in this scenario a is equals to a if these two characters are same then or or what it means is that if pattern of j equals to string of i then dp of i comma j equals to dp of i minus 1 comma j minus 1 and so why why is this the case why are we going actually diagonally one back to see things this is the reason the reason is because if let's say a b c and was a pattern and we were at a b and c here again so what we said was that these two guys are equal okay so the value the value of the value at this particular cell here can be the value which is present at this particular cell here because if everything has matched until a b then a b c also would be true but if let's say in uh, let's say the other scenario in the other scenario it was a b c it was a d c then it would have been a false here okay so it's irrespective of whether c and c matches the value is going to be false so which is why we actually go a diagonal up and see what was the value at i minus 1 and j minus 1 
and dp of ij is always always equals to i minus 1 and j minus 1 okay other than the rows row 0 and the column 0 talk, that we talked about separately okay cool so this becomes a true here now now let us uh, populate the next value which is b is not equals to c so this straightforward becomes a false now b in in going to the third third index of the string okay uh, b is not equals to a so this becomes false b is equals to b okay so b is equals to b which means we have to take the value from here and this value becomes a false okay we have to take the value from here and this value becomes a false now going to going to this star now again uh, if we have gone to this star the first thing is to look out for j minus 2 this value is false so what we actually do is we compare this value b here to this value here and they both are indeed equal so what we need to do is we need to just populate this value here okay so it it gets it gets populated here so this becomes a true this becomes a true here okay and b is not equals to c so this becomes a false okay similarly going back again so because b is not equals to a this is false b equals to b but unfortunately this is false so this will continue to be false again this will become true okay this value will be replicated b is not equals to c so this becomes false c is not equals to a this becomes false c is not equals to b this becomes false this will become false because c is not equals to b and c is not equals to a as well and c equals to c so this value will get replicated here okay so the final output the final output is the value which is present in this particular cell here right so this is the this is the generic concept of solving regular expressions using dynamic programming okay so i hope that the concept was clear there are certain formulas to it uh, we will look into the code i've already written code for this and submitted and that code is actually working fine so this is how we actually go about solving this problem it's a little little complex to think about but once thought uh, this problem actually becomes very very simple to be implemented in the code okay cool so this was the this is the code that i already have written here okay so this so what we have done is that we have been given two strings uh, a and b wherein a is the string and b is the pattern that we need to match against so dp of 0 0 is always going to be true that we have seen here dp of 0 0 which is this value is always going to be true then what i have done in this uh, for loop is that for the first column i have made all the values as false okay and uh, if the pattern and for the first row so this for loop here is working for the first row right and uh, if the pattern is star then all that we need to do is go two backs okay so if the pattern is star we need to do go two backs and see what is the value and whatever the value was we actually populate it here we do not have any other condition because we cannot go up okay so and otherwise it is false okay otherwise it is false yeah because the string was empty so there is no match that can happen now we go we go into iterating over the matrix that we create okay and what we say is that if at this condition if the two characters matches or the pattern is a dot so dot can accommodate for any character then dp of ij equals to dp of i minus 1 comma j minus 1 okay but if the pattern is a star what we first check is if dp of i comma j minus 2 is actually true then we populate dp of ij equals, equals to true but if that is not the case then we check if the value okay we check if the value at j minus 2 or let's say j minus 1 is actual, actually equals to the string current string value then dp of ij becomes equal to dp of i minus 1 comma j or if if the pattern is having a dot then it also matches so this is this is simply simply the condition that we talked about here these two conditions okay so zero occurrences condition and this is one or more occurrence condition okay and then if nothing matches then it becomes a false that we have seen 
happening. And again, if the two characters doesn't matches and we do not even have a star, the DP of i comma j becomes false. And in the end, we simply return the final value of uh, length a and length b. So what I am going to do now is uh, I have submitted the code and this code works, right? So it says it's a correct answer. So yes, guys, this was the this was the concept of uh, having a regular expression match against string. I hope you have understood the concept. I would uh, request you to go through the video again if this was like a little difficult to understand in the first. And um, if you have liked the video, please click on the like button. Please share, subscribe and drop in your comments to let me know your feedback about the videos. Thank you so much.